This is a demonstration of commerce, project two for CS50 web. It is an eBay-like e-commerce site built in Django. For the first requirement, models, my models.py file has four additional models, category, listing, bid, and comments. In order to create a listing, you simply press this create listing link. Since I'm not signed in right now, I'll be redirected to the login page. After I log in, I'll be taken to the new listing page and I can enter a listing title, description, starting bid, category, and image URL. Starting bid, let's make this $15, category, I'm gonna select health, image URL, and now I'll press publish. If I scroll all the way to the bottom, as you can see, there's my new listing. If I wanted to create a listing without a category or image URL, that is possible. I'll demonstrate that now. Let's enter the web programming course. Starting bid 500 and category, I'll keep this on none and I won't enter an image URL. Now, if I press publish and scroll down, as you can see, there's a placeholder image. On the active listings page, you can see multiple pieces of information for each listing. It's image, if it has one. You can see it's title, description, current price, and the seller. To go to a listing page, you simply press view listing. On this page, you can see all of the details about the listing, including its title, image, current price, number of bids, category, description, creation date, and the user that created it. There's also a comment section. Any signed in user can add a listing to their watch list by pressing this watch button. And to unwatch it, you simply press this button and you'll be redirected to your watch list. If you're signed in, you can bid on any active listing. As you can see, the current price is $100 and there are zero bids on this item. But if I try to enter a bid for $55, I'll get an error message at the top of the page. Bid cannot be less than current item price. But if I try to place a bid for $100, for example, it'll work and at the top of the page you see bid placed for $100. This listing will get automatically added to my watch list and the page will get updated to show the correct number of bids. Now if I try to enter a bid for $100, that wouldn't work because that equals my previous bid. So as you can see, bid cannot be less than or equal to current item price. Okay, if a user is signed in and they go to one of their listings, for example, this listing right here, there is a close auction button, which will close the auction and set the winner as the current highest bidder. It'll also deactivate the listing and remove it from the active listings page. As you can see, I press close auction and the winner is Daniel. Okay, now if I sign into my other account, and go to that specific listing page, which is in my watch list still. As you can see, it says auction ended, you won. Users who are signed in can add comments to any listing. But if I go to this listing, for example, I can add a comment. This looks interesting. Might bid on it and it'll display my comments and the date and time of the comment in UTC. Okay, if I go to my watch list page, on this page, I can unwatch any of the items. I can also view a listing from this page as well by pressing the view listing button. For the categories requirement, if I press categories, I get a list. If I press on electronics, for example, I'll see all of the listings. In the Django admin interface, which I'll demonstrate now. You can add, view, and delete any listing, comment, and bid made on the site. If I wanted to delete my CS50 web program course listing, I can just press delete selected listings, go. Yes, I'm sure. And I can also select a listing and change any specific details. So that's all for CS50 Commerce.